Wow. wow. I can't believe it. It's amazing. We're just making fun of our own episode. <laughs> I Cool. I feel, did I take a screenshot of it? How was the ride over, guys? I felt like I was missing out this Honestly, morning. Honestly, kind of nice. Really? With, with me not in there? Yeah, we talked so much so shit much about shit. you. Really? So much shit. No. We was, didn't talk about... We didn't We, did we really shit. did. We were like, what did we think he's doing in Santa Monica? <laughs> yeah. And then we were like, oh, he stayed at a girl's haha. And they were like, no way. And I was like, maybe he had a meeting. And they are like, at 7 a.m. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I'm trying to find something quick before I forget about it. But can, Is it the history on. of famous facts? <laughs> no. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> sounded like the fake. That was a new laugh. A new laugh. I, I was a little tickled by it. <laughs> Fuck! I thought I took a screenshot of it. It made me very this funny. The, uh, what? This is a fact that you wanted yeah. to share? Yeah. It says <laughs> we're doing. Oh no! Nope. This is for the other episode. Uh, <laughs> dang it! Never mind. Do you want to screenshot that so you remember? I just it? did. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. This is all about unbelievable facts, things that you may not know. Hopefully you may don't that know. May be true. <laughs> that may or may not be true. We read it on the internet and nobody yeah. ever lies on the internet. So like, don't worry about any of this being not true because yeah. it's definitely all true. Well, Mike all was the... like, we can fact check them. And I was like, I'm not fact checking. <laughs> I found some that had been fact checked. Oh. There was like sources. So I was like, okay, I don't. I don't Perfect. feel too bad spreading misinformation. So because... ho- hopefully all the facts we do share are true. Yeah. yeah. And I think if so. not, you... then there'll be like fun little tidbits that you can tell people. And yeah, then... You can fact check us in the yeah. comments. Now, did any of the facts that you guys find or are uh, ready to share, did any of them you knew before, like us researching them last night? I don't think no. so. No, but I wanted so many to find... of them were so boring. Yeah. Girl. Yeah, I was so like, it was very like, back of like a I cereal box. I don't care kind of about <laughs> like quantum physics. <laughs> like, I'm like, like, I that's not crazy to me. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the funnest ones for me were like things I found out about animals. Oh, I didn't yeah. take a lot of them into this, but just reading them. I spent like an hour going through. And oh, I was like, yeah. oh, these are so fun. Yeah. Reddit's a good place. There's right? a lot of animal penis stuff yeah one of them i think was like kangaroos pee and poop out of the same hole <gasps> or it was really? some animal wait you guys don't do that too <laughs> <laughs> when men think oh. women do i got one that's that's a little fun okay S- bananas when you eat banana flavored candy you know how wait, it, i read this yeah how it doesn't taste like bananas that we eat right now like if you got a banana flavored like little candy yeah yeah it's it like an artificial t- flavored banana. well no it's not well it is artificial but the reason why it doesn't taste like bananas is because there used to be a wide variety of bananas that came in like there's like a uh vanilla flavored one there's like a cherry flavored one of real bananas real bananas huh? like in the same way that there's different Where kinds did those of go I want they, that. they all disappeared there was like some war i think in like south america in the 1800s and we only started importing one type of banana, but in the same way where there's like a green apple, a red apple, like all different kinds of apples, there's all different kinds of bananas. And the candy is made from a variety of banana that we Whoa. don't have anymore. And but they just you... kept making the candy that flavor. Do you think that banana though exists it somewhere does. in it the does. world? Yes, it does. We just don't import it here in America. We should go on like a banana trip. <laughs> <laughs> like some people go to Napa Valley and have wine. We go to South America and find all the bananas. There, but like, can you, like there's apparently the best bananas taste like a vanilla ice cream. Oh, oh my god yummy. sign me the fuck up Just it's reminding that... me of like cotton candy grapes have you ever had those yeah, oh but... yeah, yeah those are so trippy yeah, yeah. those are like man made oh those are I'm pretty I don't sure I think so I think they're like a hybrid I don't know because I remember we, I first tried like Target got them when I was working there and they're like these are organic organically grown or something and I was like how mm. have you for some tr- reason I thought they were have you tried like these sour grape things that people are doing what like you get grapes you put a bunch of lime on it, and then Ooh. you go get a Jello packet, and Ooh. then put the Jello packet all over it. Um, coat all of the grapes, My jaw's and then let Me it, too. and then let it sit in your fridge for like an hour or so, and then you eat the grapes. It's like sour candy, Ooh, yummy. but it's like healthy. Oh. I will be trying that. That sounds um, amazing. Jello. <laughs> Wait, speaking of the artificial candy, mm-hmm. same with watermelon. Like watermelon flavor stuff doesn't taste like a watermelon. And grape. watermelon flavor stuff is so good. It is, but it doesn't taste like <laughs> no fruit. watermelon. Tastes like nothing most of the time, unless yeah. you get like a real ripe guy. Yes, so but good. like flavored watermelon, mm, sign me up. Yeah, Have you ever put a little bit of sugar on a watermelon in the summer oh no i, salt. I used to do that salt just, and sugar oh. salt i don't get the people who do the salt thing well that's me baby oh. i'm salt people it like up. grill their watermelon oh it's a little insane grill yeah people will grill watermelon it's really oh, weird and it'll be like a steak yeah but it's like it, 
Also, I he's think he's coming for you, vegans. Th- <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Um, would it be full? There's like a guide show? that tells you how to know how to pick the perfect watermelon. Like you can Ooh. tell by the outside if like there's like the webbing on it. It means something. If it's like oval versus circular, it's like a male versus female. Because you never know what you're gonna get. I know, but there's this guide that every time I buy a thing, I can never find it online. But like this summer, my goal is to find the perfect watermelon and use this guide. Yes. Oh, wow. Nothing is worse than cutting a watermelon and it looks like someone literally sucked all the juice. Yeah, it's <laughs> white. It's white. Yeah. And you're I'm like, come on. Uh, it tastes yeah. like fucking nothing. Yeah, no. Or it's that, like mushy. Uh, I brought some today, actually. Hopefully it's good. Watermelon? Yeah. Did you get it from Whole Foods? Yeah. It's probably good. There, I like but they... I had to move one out of the way that was like, sucked all the juice out. <laughs> no. It looked all dry Maybe as Maybe it was fuck. just an employee. They were like, <laughs> yeah, to put a straw on it. <laughs> yeah. Watermelon I... does nothing for me. Oh really? my God. It is like, it's like, it's like you know the way like cotton candy just like disappears in your mouth like watermelon I'm like well yeah. what was that it's so like, refreshing yes. in the summertime yeah. I don't think it like oh, it doesn't yum. fill me up I don't think it's like con- giving me like that much nutrients it's uh, not it's like 90% yeah, water. water I think yeah. if you sucked out all the water of a watermelon it would be like the size of a grape yeah and then it's, it's like just... it's like a, just a <laughs> it's like a little bucket of water it's I feel so like refreshing. it's so refreshing. That's why I, I love treat. a watermelon. Matt, yeah, I can your hear, opinion like, the is crunch. wrong. I know. The aesthetic it's, of a watermelon. Matt, you are the when asshole. When I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a kid, wrong. When I was a kid, I liked watermelon. I think I was crazy about it. But now as an adult, I'm always like, what is this? Like, what, what am, am I, I doing? Eating? Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's just my thought. All um, right. Well, fair okay. Enough. I have a really, this was really fun to me. So last night, this is like so far gone now, but LeBron James beat yes. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's record for most scored points ever in the NBA. It's like over 38,000. So then I went on like a whole wormhole. Wormhole? Yeah. Went down a wormhole. Yeah. Okay. Think. Why rabbit is that hole? So rabbit hole. Wormhole, rabbit hole. Yeah, that's I think okay. rabbit hole is the yeah. appropriate parlance. <laughs> Black hole. <laughs> that one works Anal too. cavity. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, but like looking, I was like, oh my God, this is so crazy. So interesting. Because like he, Kareem's like 75 years old now. So then I was looking at all of his... Um, like Statistics? backstory, oh. and it said this to me was like an unbelievable fact. This is so crazy. It said during his three years at UCLA when he played college basketball, the team had an eighty-eight and two record. His, Whoa! His freshman year, they were thirty and zero. Oh. Damn. Isn't that so fucking crazy? Yeah, I think because like, he was just that valuable. They won of an 88 asset. games over three years and only lost two games. That is incredible. Oh, oh my over gosh. Three is that seasons. like crazy yes. for a team? Yeah, most That's teams have like around 50 50. Like if you're a little yeah. bit over 50, you're a great team. If you're under 50, so they yeah. slayed. Is yes, that is, that's an unbelievable statistic. Crazy. That's insane. But I didn't know Kareem Abdul Jabbar was like that successful of an athlete. Yeah. yeah oh, oh a, yeah. He was, the, he, was he in airplane? Yes, he's the I, pilot. I was at an airport one time. Yeah, he's, he's the pilot. pilot? At, at, no, 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 in the movie Airplane. Oh. I was like, oh, he's a pilot. <laughs> no, no, in the movie Airplane, he plays a pilot. Yeah, in a very funny and way. And I was at the. He was one of the first celebrities I ever saw. The first time I came to LA on a family vacation, he was at the baggage claim, and my dad was like, "That's Kareem Abdul Jabbar." <laughs> so and I was tall. like, "I don't know." Who I that think he is. also was in a movie with Bruce Lee, and like fought Bruce Lee in a movie. Yeah, he's he, the fucking man. <laughs> oh, well, this is kind of interesting. The number of people older than you will never increase. That's a wow. crazy stat. That's yeah. constant. That's just that true. is constant. I mean, it's it's something that's so basic. It's just going to keep decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. And yeah. you also, right now, are the youngest you will ever be again. And now we're the youngest. Yep. And now we're the youngest. Now we're, and we're also, yeah, yeah. Now we're the youngest. Fuck! <laughs> 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 panic attack! Do you ever I think that. that, like, you're... Yeah, we're just do you cruising. think you're as good looking as you'll ever be right now, or do you like think that like you're going to be even better looking? I think that hard to I, say. I think that every generation gets better looking. Yeah, we have the tools. And yeah, I, I Botox, think that... laser, <laughs> Ozempic, <laughs> Ozempic. Uh, I, I don't know. The four I of like... us are doing pretty well, looks yeah. wise. Yeah, I think we keep I getting better. I think I'm going to get like in this insane shape. <laughs> or then I'm accepting, am I just like going to have like a good build, but I'm not like what do you shredded. want shredded? I don't know. I go so back and forth where I make compromises where I'm like, oh, wouldn't it be awesome if I was just like shredded? Like Ugh. like Todd and Scott and Jeff are like, I guess. Like you want to see a six pack? Scott's shorter than me. Todd's Todd shorter than me. <laughs> That's not what we're talking no, about. But you just be like <laughs> abs yeah. and. Yeah, just like insane. But I'm, I always like my build though. But I don't know. I, I never. 
I feel like it wouldn't take much for you to do that. Yeah. You're already like pretty fit. Just, I feel like if you stop drinking for like a month and just hit the fucking and eat really well. Yeah, eat really well. You probably wouldn't even he need said, to change nah. your. I yeah. like to party. <laughs> <laughs> we like we like to party. Um, yeah. Yeah, but then I'm like sometimes I'm like oh, but I'm already like so great right now. So like, I don't know why stress about like chasing that that uh, yeah that beauty or whatever. That's fair, you know. Yeah. Nah, that's my thoughts. That's a good Just fact. You can look like Curious Jason if you really it. try. Who knows? Oh, look like Jason. Jason? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Jason is back. looking good now. He's pretty ripped. Yeah, he's back on it. What else? Sorry. Now. <laughs> um. I have so many. Oh, facts. this one was. Oh, I love this one, Mike, because it reminded me of you. Oh, exciting. <laughs> Lamborghini started making supercars because Enzo Ferrari was being a jerk to Ferruccio Lamborghini. Oh, yes. It says Lamborghini was a tractor manufacturer and Enzo Ferrari was asked about his new car at a time and he laughed and said something along the lines of, well, it isn't a Lamborghini. So Lamborghini went into sport slash supercar making as competitors. <laughs> And it said that Lamborghini went to Ferrari to complain because his Ferrari's clutch was weak and Lamborghini had some suggestions. Thus, I don't need advice from a man who builds tractors. So he started Lamborghini out of spite. Oh, Damn. yes. The Larry David Spite store. Yes. Wow. Me. I did kind of know this, that they, they used to be a team. And then the two Italians were like, I make a better car than you. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was like, oh, you think I can't make a car? Yeah. Watch me, bitch. Which Damn. is why people like Lamborghinis a lot. Yeah. is Because it's like all a the... A store. <laughs> which, is, which, is, which do you think is cooler, Lamborghini or Ferrari? Well, now I think Lamborghini. Yeah, I kind of am more into Lamborghini, although Ferrari is like refined and classic lamborghini is a little more refined uh, but i yeah, i don't know I don't the lamborghini same. has more interesting like shapes to their bodies they're, than, yeah they're more Ferraris. modern and like i always love a ferrari testarossa but if you show up in a lamborghini countach or a <laughs> countach countach yeah or a diablo oh yeah have mercy like mercy uh, lago there you go mercy but, is that a car that's a lamborghini mm. But like the Urus, I mean, didn't Zane had the Urus. Yeah, was, didn't Zane? What was that? A Lamborghini? It was cool, but it was like yeah. it was like a sedan. Like that's a that was a weird era. He was like going to Ralph's in a Lamborghini. Yes, I, I was like, this is like a designer bag. Like, <laughs> he has like water bottles in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is that well, the one that I nice. like drove? What didn't I like drive? Is that the one that I drove? I think so. Probably. I don't even. I don't it was, like know the cars. cream colored one. Yeah, like beige. I don't know. I thought that was a really nice car. Just but like ridiculous. Just like Zane Lamborghini SUV. It was just a weird like. <laughs> What's going on here? Anyway, but interesting story behind the Ferrari Lamborghini. Yeah, I love I Lamborghini like, is a spite <gasps> store company. Yeah, it's really yeah, funny. Iconic, cunty maneuver. <laughs> iconic. Yeah. Is it Michaels like that too? The the store store. Yeah, Michaels and was his like, brother was. I hate you, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> yeah, it's like Michaels. I oh. swear. And, and there's another one. AC Moore Arts and Crafts. Yeah, AC Moore. I think it is. Or Michaels and another guy were brothers, and then they they split, and then they um, split their business. Should I look that up? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I would. Love I think that's to interesting. Hear the tea yeah. on that. Oh. There's a lot of companies. There's a, a drums simple symbol company, Zildjian and Sabian, oh, and yeah. it's two brothers. <gasps> yeah, they just have two separate companies. I don't think they're like mad at each other, but yeah, they just pool their money. Also, like... a lot of companies are like all owned by the same. Yeah, like yeah, I like well, Latte well, Larry's and Mocha Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> is that from Curb? Yeah. yeah. The Spite store that we're referring to is from Curb Enthusiasm. Larry gets into a fight with someone, the main character, who has a coffee shop. And so he decides to open up a coffee shop right next door to him just to spite him and makes all the prices <laughs> extremely low to try and put the other guy out of business. And it's a really funny season. It's so it's such good. A I can't wait for the new one to come out. I know. I saw him do that talk when he, it was Netflix like festival. He did like a talk oh. and they had an, that was the night that they announced that they were about to start shooting season 12. I'm How so excited. How long ago was that? Like in May. Of last year? Yeah. <gasps> so that means it's coming it'll, out it's, this year. It'll probably be out like this summer. Hell yeah. Did you know that Leon is a really good baker? <laughs> <laughs> like in real life? JB Smoove? Yeah. Oh, I did yeah, not I just know call that. him Leon. <laughs> He's Leon to me. Um, I did not know that. Unbelievable fact. Okay, I got a fact for you. Okay. Guess how many rotations of the human head it takes to pop it off. Oh, how many times you'd have to twist like, it I would have all the way oh. How many times? I mean, um, I would think like one. I no, know, but... I would uh, say... Is it a really 13. high number? I bet it's... I bet it's... I'm taking guesses. Oh. 
13. Oh, I don't want to think but there's about no, it. But there's no pull. Just twist. And then we'll go. <laughs> Actually, we'll I go. think a lot. I think a lot because so I think stretchy. obviously the next, the next, the bone's going to break. Oh the neck God. is. But for, uh, for the whole spinal cord to like sever and all of those muscles, that's really, really tough. Think about it this way. I would say it, 50 times. Okay. Think about it this way. You put a vice. Who did this study? You do. You put a vice on the torso and then you put another vice on the head. How many twists? Stop, 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 okay, stop. The answer is three. <gasps> three? Yeah. Ha, uh. Oh. <laughs> Why don't we try it? Do you want to be our test subject? <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thank you. Uh, three? Okay, I mean, how would you fact, get it around once that's is my I, question. Yeah, if, if you turn it, I think if you turn the head around one time, you're going to die. You're yeah, who did this? I, I, yeah, I how did they this? <laughs> is this in? Is this one fact checked? I did not. I don't know how to fact check this. Happened. They're just I in the morgue. Like, oh, it's three. Yeah. Um, Crazy. They're just I like, let's not, bet. I yeah, let's put a bet on and it. And then the comment, the comment the right underneath is, I need to know how to put it back on. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> that is um, disgusting. The man who invented Match.com, the dating website, his wife cheated on him from a guy <laughs> He, she met on Match.com, <laughs> and then she ended up with him forever. That's yeah, well, kind of iconic. It I mean, it's a success it story. Worked. That sucks. That yeah. guy must wake up every day like, God damn it! Couldn't yeah. you keep your goddamn mouth shut. That'd be like if you created Tinder and then your girlfriend cheated on you with yeah. someone yeah. from Tinder. And oh then my god! He's like, honey, look what I made. What's this? <laughs> Is Match.com still around? Probably. Yeah, definitely. Like plenty of fish There's and all those. So many. E I think Harmony. Match.com owns, they're the group that owns all of them. Oh, How's the E-Harmony guy doing? Mm. Remember, he's like, uh, E-Harmony, we will find you a match. I feel like that was always for grandparents, right? For like, like, old, like old people who are like widowed. Doesn't the Mormon church own E-Harmony? Mm, I don't know. Or Ancestry.com? Ancestry. What? Ancestry.com is owned by the Mormon church. Oh, the Mormons boy. have uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> most of the genealogy records of like immigrants who came to the U.S. Like, they preserved it. Like. Mm. Yeah, that they own all the records. I think I may be wrong. Huh. That's what I've I don't always known. Having my info. Um, George Washington died in 1799. Dinosaurs were discovered in 1824. George Washington didn't know dinosaurs existed. Whoa. Wow, isn't that? But do you think though? I guess, it's so crazy. Dinosaurs oh, were okay. discovered in 1824. So you're telling me not that like that's so recently. Any yeah. of the like people Ain't, back in the day were like what digging are these around bones? going, whoa. They just thought it was like a, a cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't know. No, they probably were like, holy fuck. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Maybe yeah. they're like putting Could it you together. Imagine they're on those like carts. Going across the country, Lewis and Clark, like in their fucking wagons. And just then like a just skeleton like a, of yeah. a Tourette. Like, what is this? This is a yeah. They're like, what the fuck? The first dinosaur was discovered in the 1800s. So that means like all of ancient Rome, all of never the British dinos. Empire. Maybe they hadn't like classified that yeah. these were extinct species from like million, millions of years ago. But like the whole idea about the crater hitting the earth and the like, I guess we this is all pretty new. Oh, I read a fun fact about that. I didn't write it down, but I'll butcher it. I have a fun fact. Did you know the world is actually flat? Here's my 40 minute speech on this. No, I'm, oh, kidding. I'm kidding. Let's FaceTime your uncle. <laughs> okay. I, I have an a, uncle I a... who's a flat earth earlier. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, I've got Don't a social media all. one that's kind of interesting. Every day there are 82 years worth of videos being published on YouTube. Every Day. How many? Wait, eighty-two. Years. Every day there are eighty-two years worth of videos being published on YouTube. That is fucking insane. Yeah, think about TikTok now. <laughs> like, how are we supposed to consume all you of can't. that? You can't. The you infinite can't. scroll is is yeah. truly and infinite. it's getting more and more. Like every day, it's more and that more. Is so eighty-two crazy. years a day. A day. So you you could never watch every video ever. Oh hell no! How many yeah. like hours every, are in a You year. couldn't watch every video uploaded today. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> That's impossible to watch Just every today. video today. Yeah. You, we would all. It's really crazy that we contribute to that statistic. Yeah, we do, and we did a lot before you started posting once a yeah. week. Yeah, we would con we would contribute three times a week minimum. We're contributing yeah. right now. Yeah, <clears throat> we are. T eighty two point oh 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 one years. Uh, that's crazy. Also, this one's kind of like is, I guess, 
kind of obvious, but I just think it's like so crazy to hear. Every two minutes, we take as many photos as all of humanity took during the 1800s. Yeah. Every day? Every two minutes. Oh. oh yeah, I think the 1800s. Many. Which like makes sense because obviously people yeah. weren't like taking photos <laughs> willy-nilly, but I was yeah. just like, damn. How many photos have you guys taken in your, uh, if you go to your photos app, it says how many photos you've taken? Mine's like off because I got a new phone. Yeah. Like on recents? Uh, 3,000. Oh, 3,000? How do I do it? Oh. What's yours? I think I'm at photos? like photos. I'm at like 20,000, I think. I'm, I don't have all my photos, so. <laughs> I'm like, oops, Aaron's camera roll here. Gotta be a little. Uh, a little my mindful. recents on this phone how is 48,000. 48,000? Oh. Yeah. 35,000. I have 135,500. Wow. What is your gigabyte? <laughs> like, I pay for like a terabyte a oh, month yeah. on iCloud. That's, yeah, I have 3, a terabyte. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's insane that seems so low it I think, is, how, they, how does yours go far? I take 3,000 photos in like a week it's cause my when I switched phones I did like the iCloud thing and I didn't back oh. up all my photos so oh. I was like I'm done I don't know you clearly just don't love your pets <laughs> yeah right all my photos <laughs> are my pets you 3, only have 3,000 pics <laughs> also there's just so many screenshots of like so many Instagram metrics for oh like God. brands and that is my favorite yeah. thing to do on an airplane is go to my mm. screenshots and then delete them. It's the best. It's You're like, t- like maintaining your photo library? Yeah. If there's nothing else to do, it's like the only yeah. thing you can do. Like, oh a, my like God. a flight to Vegas, yeah. I will clean up my camera roll. I gave up oh, on that I gave up so on cleaning long ago. Up camera rolls. That's the one thing I'm paying for all the memories, just having all the photos out there. But that like, is so much effort. I don't need effort. screenshots of like a Starbucks drink I tried six months ago. <laughs> you know? You might. You might. <laughs> Do you ever forget like to go through your Shazams and stuff? Oh, just, I like, know. And I, I, you're like, oh, yeah. these are all the songs I like. Sometimes Shazam. it's stuff I'm screenshotting. <laughs> Wait, you yeah. don't do Shazam? No. What do, you, what do you do? I don't listen to music. I know. I don't ever like think about that. Yeah. Like uh, no one does it all the time. But uh, I have like, I, there's, I love being somewhere and I'm like, what is this song? Yeah, I, I love it. And people like, some people feel like awkward to like, they don't want to show. I will stand up in the middle of a restaurant and just go like this. to the studio. That was me the other day at <laughs> Bell's Beach House. No! I was yeah. walking around I was about, <laughs> and I was freaking out because I thought the song was going to end. Yeah. There, oh, that's the I worst. I thought you could just <laughs> ask the lady now. Yeah. You ask Siri, but it's not. Sometimes she's like. Let me check on that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, the song's an end. The Give Los Angeles Lakers were founded in 18. I'm like, what song is oh, this? Oh, God. I feel but, like I usually Google lyrics if I'm really trying to figure it out. And then yeah. it just comes But then up. it'll be lyrics of like, baby, baby, I love you. And you're like, what is this song? No, I make sure it's like somewhat yeah. specific. Um, I don't know. I think it's like a nice spring cleaning. Like, clean I know, up your I camera I wish roll. I had the, the... I'll go through it for you. Good. Do I have 48,000 photos. Do you ever sometimes have, like decide to go back? I really like organization. <laughs> Do you ever sometimes decide to go, instead of just getting on TikTok and trusting the feed, go back through your likes to refamiliarize yourself with the stuff that you did like? That trips me out because I'm like, when did I look at this? <laughs> sometimes it's like, I, it's sometimes crazy. I'm like, oh, that's interesting or useful. I want to remember that. And then I'm that's like, that's what the save is for. I know, I save it. I have yeah. it all in my collections, but sometimes I'm like, instead of just trusting the feed to entertain me things, I need to go back to my like important things or things. To, yeah. to remember to like <laughs> stuff where I'm like, oh, that's changed. That actually changed my mindset for the day. Mm-hmm. Go back and consume that type of content rather than trusting. Just I can't talk right it. now. I'm watching important TikToks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like, just the times you sit down. And you find I know, I know. It. Well, Matt, before I forget, there is a thing that will automatically Don't point at me. There is a thing that will automatically create a Spotify playlist of all your Shazams. So I have, oh, a, I have a playlist cool. on my Spotify that's just called Mike's Shazams, and I'll just check it every couple weeks because I will oh, add to cool. it. <laughs> you just like link it to your account? Yeah. Oh, that's there, fucking sick. Yeah. So like now I just have this new playlist of all these great songs and Love then I can. That. Yeah. So when I'm Shazamming, I don't need to like think about it. If you. Shepher Shazams. If... That's, what the, that's what the playlist is called. <laughs> Shepher Shazams. Yeah. If you then are like listening to the song and you no longer like it, could you take it off? Yeah. Do they allow you to edit it? Yeah, it's like oh a regular playlist God. that it just adds to, but it's it's perfectly... Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Mics are just like... <laughs> I have some ones it's that like are like Doja Cat. Like, no, that, I, we, yeah, this is Doja Cat. Yeah, like, there's so like, many of those. I'm like, oh, really? that's Drake. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not Drake. I have it's a, like Imagine Dragons, like radioactive. <laughs> I think I have that one on there. <laughs> this is gonna be the best day of my life. <laughs> Why are you roasting me right yeah, now? Yeah, no, you're sorry. being mean. I'm just kidding. I'm there kidding. Opportunities I'm kidding. to make jokes. There okay. is. There is. Okay. Me, uh, this one's kind of interesting. The day Michael Jackson's hair caught fire while he was performing the Pepsi commercial. You know, you're no. familiar with that yeah. day? Yes. You don't know about that day? No. It was a pretty big deal, like, in the 80s. Was the exact middle day of his life. It was the exact Whoa. middle day. He was born August 29th, 1958. 9,281 days later, 
the incident with his hair caught on fire on January 27th, 1984. 9,281 days later after that, he died. <gasps> so it was like yeah. a third That's of his spooky. life. That's spooky. It's the exact... It was no. like the third? I was going to say, kind My... of boring fact until you said the death thing. That's creepy. Yeah. It's the middle day of his life. <laughs> it was like a little... <laughs> Ew, that's scary. <laughs> that is really weird. It's, who Ominous. figured that out? Who was like... <laughs> yeah. You know what's weird is we're going to have a middle day of our lives that we won't get to know what it is. Well, we'll know at some point. There's Someone will ha- can figure it, it out if they want. Someone content talk that sure was a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. scary. I don't Sh- like Sheffer that. Sheffer Shazams. That, that is... is st- <laughs> I love that. What's on it? Let me go through. Yeah, let's um, roast it. We have Death Cab for Cutie. Lo- what song? Nice. Passenger Seat. I couldn't remember Ooh, what the name one. of the song was. A lot of weird, like, if I'll be in a restaurant or, like, a hotel. It's, they like, always instrumental. Have, yeah, and it's, or it's just, like, some weird Ethiopian jazz or something that I want to know. Um, be My Baby by the Renettes. Oh, the best. I know I know be the song, but baby, it, it's sometimes, like, movie. Did it, they haven't seen it. Uh, Airplane? Well, it's at the oh. end of <laughs> Goodfellas. Right? Oh, no, I'm thinking of... It's uh, the beginning of Journey kissed me. Me. Dancing. It's also at the end of Barbarian. And uh, and then she kissed me. That's good. Feel sorry. Uh, Hope by the Chainsmokers. I don't know if you guys know that one. Uh-huh. Um, Claro, Forever. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, a lot of weird stuff that we don't... I guess we don't really know. We'll have to listen to it next yeah. time you drive. Okay. Cool. Love that. Harry Styles? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would know. <laughs> um, okay, new facts. New facts. Okay. Well, while we're on the movies, you brought up some movies. Twister was the first movie released on DVD. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? That makes sense. Really? I kind of remember the commercials for that of like new coming to DVD. What well, like a funny movie to like be the so first random. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense because my friend Addison, he was the first kid to have like DVD players in surround sound at his house. And he was like, Twister, you got to see because he goes, <laughs> you hear so all the sirens and it shakes up the whole uh, house. And we oh. would play that. That makes it was like the one DVD yeah. he had was Twister. That I wonder makes sense. Did everyone watch that movie? I've yeah. never seen it. Oh, You've yeah, never seen it? Bill Paxton, <gasps> Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, what was that? Twister. 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 Well, Todd goes always like, what's your favorite Helen Hunt movie? And I go, mm, I don't know. And he goes, mine's Twister. And he gives me a purple nerve. <laughs> Twister. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Um, and, That's uh, really funny. Yeah. They had a cellar, right? Like yeah. underground. Yeah. I like vaguely remember watching it, but I also lived in Tornado Alley, so I was like kind of scared. Yeah. See, I, I didn't experience. Like, I literally was like, what's a tornado? Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, this movie is so cool. Yeah. I never they, wanted like, to see those. Chase them. Or like I love that. Open Water, that movie where they're just floating in the no, water. I will not do water stuff. Have you seen the girl on TikTok? Like, I feel like storm. maybe you've seen her. That's yeah, like, absolutely oh. not. No. No. Sorry, Carly, what you were saying? Carly, There's saying? a girl on TikTok who is, ugh, I don't, I'm going to butcher it, but she's like by herself on like a canoe thing in the ocean and she's going from yes yeah what where is she going she's By herself? sailing across the atlantic ocean yes and she's just like streaming on tiktok and like posting in a all these... sailboat by herself yeah by herself and no, she's like no not like a rowboat oh it's a rowboat what she's gonna die no i think <laughs> no, she's, she's gonna pretty do much, it yeah she's almost there i think <laughs> yeah How? she has she has also i what i was like i what I was very interested in, and like, how do you not feel like you're just like in the same spot? Because well, like, you have a compass. Water's moving you. I know. And then, but then when you go to bed at night, how do you make sure that you're not the star? You navigate yeah. with the stars. I think no, she like sleeping. she falls asleep, but and then you just like veer drift. off. Yeah, Somebody you have an anchor. That. Have an anchor. Oh, true. It's yeah. called a like yes, a par- some... it's called a parachute anchor. Oh. I was really interested in this because you can't just like put an anchor all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, but you, you can't put, put it in this, the boat. It's but you put sleep. out a mini parachute kind of thing that's also attached to that. So as the boat moves, <laughs> it catches like the weight of the parachute. I'll and send so you her TikTok. What is she eating? Cliff bars? Her shit. Fish. Yeah. How do you poop? She I has mean, all these questions answered on TikTok. Yeah. It's like wild. Remember when DJ Khaled got lost on his jet ski on Snapchat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in a populated Sorry. area. I missed the beginning part. Where is she sailing to? She, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure from... she's sailing from somewhere that's on the Atlantic. I don't know if she came from out of the Mediterranean oh. Sea or came from somewhere in Europe. or, And then now she's sailing to, I don't know if she's going to Canada. I don't know. She's going to the She's Atlantic going to Ocean. America. Maybe, but it could be Canada. I don't know. That is America. North America? Yeah. We're in the United States. I know. know. Sorry, I don't know. (laughs) I just didn't want to be wrong. I'm trying to find it, but I don't Wild. I don't ever want to be out. To think like an airplane ride from like 
America to Europe is like seven hours. No, she it, she, it's months. It's like That's a minimum. Fucking crazy. I think a regular boat ride is like a month. That's like with an engine and a motor. It's a month. She's probably out there for like four months. It's she. The, uh, oh it, yes, three thousand miles solo, Atlantic row for the charities well-being of women in mind rowing just give of them money <laughs> <laughs> what if someone did that but like, was like i'm doing it no yeah. uh, <clears throat> she has to row it yeah yes she has to it's row a it. rowboat i thought there'd be at least a little motor like, no she's your re- arms would be fucking uh, if you're built. in a storm though like she's good gonna luck die. She's gonna die. No, I know. I think no. She. I. I was really curious Someone about said, this girl. How do you girl. poop? That's like one of the most recent Where, ones. Um, where's Sorry. she at now? Um, do we have her location on Find My Friends? Yeah. People are alive. She's like, yeah. <laughs> like, could you imagine if like your friend was like, hey, I'm about to <laughs> row across the Atlantic. Like, well, let's say our goodbyes. <laughs> yeah. she getting Wi-Fi out there, but I can't get Wi-Fi like yeah. in Palm <laughs> Springs. <laughs> like, no, literally, I know. She must have a router. Well, while we're talking about the ocean. Oh, this God. one really. I hate the ocean. It is so disgusting. Gave I don't like me it. the creeps. God, okay. At the bottom of the ocean, the uh. pressure is equivalent to a single human holding 50 Boeing 747s. Huh? Oh, Wait, gosh. what? Like the pressure when you're wow. at the bottom of the, of the ocean, it just like, yeah. And it's pitch black yeah. down there. No, thank you. It's crazy that animals live down there. I know. Yeah. I love one that one that has seen. the little like light in front no. of them. Yeah. <laughs> With like the. <laughs> With those terrible teeth, but yeah. he, there's literally a fucking fish yeah. with a light bulb on his head. There it's is. kind of crazy. Yeah. How fish... A light bulb? Wait, you've yes. never seen? Yes. No. It's insane. Wait, Paul, how have you not seen this? I don't think I have. Like you have, you have. Maybe you have. when I see it, I'll be like, oh yeah, but I don't. A light bulb, or you mean like? Yeah, it's like it a light, like an angler fish, an angler fish. It's giving it's like, like a real like monster. Kids <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not You've never seen, seen that. that. It's in like kid Wait, cartoons. Yeah. What the fuck? How yeah. is that? Finding Nemo. I mean, it's a hideous looking thing, it's but that literally is in the light. Insane. Like, How it? did that happen? Could you imagine if that thing approached you? No, I'd be like, well, light the way. I can't yeah. see anything. Yeah. Here, this is a real photograph. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty From much. Fighting like, Nemo. Yeah, they're, they're always in cartoons and stuff, but yeah, it's fucking... I, can, I will never recover from knowing that this girl's rowing across the ocean. That is so scary. Alone? Oh, should we buy a lamp of it? You see, yeah, yeah, put it on the table. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I thought this was interesting. Let's hear it. The Mall of America doesn't actually have heating, even though it's located in Minnesota. During winter, the heat produced by lights in the stores and the shoppers is enough to keep it at a comfortable temperature. What? That's so funny because I was like, it was warm when we went. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I want to go to the mall. I mean, mall. it wasn't cold in the mall. Yeah. But it's it, obviously she finished the they fact. They don't have heating. That's so smart of the landlord to so not have to pay for heating. Yeah. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> saving I mean, a lot of money on heating yeah. bills i want to go how does that happen yeah but like they must use like crazy light bulbs like great heating light bulbs. yeah it's just all red lights yeah <laughs> those like red lights in old bathrooms you've been to the mall of america mm-hmm. when did you go 20 uh, we went for 17? a super bowl the big game oh yeah i will never, never get over that i want to yeah. go to minnesota have you never it been to mall of america the coldest nope. place oh. i've ever been in my entire life carly and i were yeah. like very unprepared it was like negative three degrees yeah we had to walk across a parking lot to get to tgi fridays and we were like (laughs) how do we survive (laughs) mall of america's fun though they have a whole theme park in there yeah Yeah. oh yeah it's like a roller coaster inside of it right Mm -hmm. there's a big lego place like that in new jersey now i play america ski resort oh xanadu i think it's called okay it's like this thing that's been under construction since i was born no yeah and it's like always been oh it's coming soon it's coming soon and then i open it for like a year and then they close down i think it's just a big mafia project where they're just like funneling money classic yeah you always see it on the highway like everybody talks about it and it's been abandoned now i think no one goes there they had a ski slope but it, it was open for like a year i saw kim kardashian there like recently you saw her oh then maybe they, maybe they opened it up i don't know yeah it's like but, an indoor ski slope. Oh, yeah, and then really there's like an amusement kind of park there. Yeah, um, that's really bizarre. Um, what do you think there is more of, the weight of all humans combined, or the weight of all ants combined? Ants. Ants. It's the same. It's like a uh, feather in a brick. It's the same. <laughs> so, well, like, can you imagine how many ants are in the world? I think there's like a, I think the it's one hundred and twenty five thousand ants per person. <gasps> so, like, if they decided to take over, every single person would need to fight one hundred and twenty five thousand ants. <laughs> 
Do you think you could kill 125,000 ants? Uh, I would just let them take me. With a flamethrower, Yeah, I was yes. literally going to say a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember this? Also, script? what kind of ants? Like red ants? Any ant. But, uh, All like, of them. Poison ants? Well, yeah. Like, we, I would think it would be impossible unless we had Yeah, no, we, we would be fucked. If they ever got together and were like, okay, yeah. we're going to take over the humans, we're fucked. <laughs> Do you ever remember that, that Where game? Where are all of them? <laughs> Do you remember that game that used to be on like computers back in the day called Screen like Desktop Destroyer? And it would be your desktop, but you could like yes. break it and then you could release ants onto it. No. And then you could get a flamethrower and like set the ants on fire. Yeah, there was a lot of like Ebaum's World videos like that too. Oh, of like a guy who would like that. be on he would like jump from like folder to folder and then he would like fight dragons that came on your it was yeah or this will remember like setting ants on fire and you would hear them like pop <gasps> oh sad oh no i don't know it's like when you use one of those rackets that kills an insect it was, it's, it's, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, i kind of hate it the zappy that yeah. just reminds me of um water boy <laughs> <laughs> okay i have one funny one frederick bauer the inventor of the pringles can mm. is buried in a pringles can like no, his ashes yeah his no ashes way. yeah i looked i fact checked it you saw like, this one i did and i was like I need to fact check this one. Do we know what flavor? <laughs> Probably the original. Probably original. Okay. original. But it was like his request Classy. to his kids, I think, was like, I want some of my ashes to go into this Pringles can. Honestly, iconic. Yeah, I mean, I would. That's like to be very near your invention, I think, is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's all going underground anyway. May as well go out with a little bit of showmanship. Oh, they buried it. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like on their mantle. <laughs> no, Just no. a Pringles can. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You open it to accidentally like eat <laughs> drunk. Like, oh, fuck. No, yeah. These went bad. bad. These went bad a long time ago. <laughs> no, no. no, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is gross. Um. Okay, I thought this was interesting. Unlike others. Okay, so she had to clarify because people were like kind of weird about this. It's common for like people in every country to smile at each other, but the reason America does it so much is because we're big as fuck. It's no, it's because it's due to the fact that this country was founded on immigrants, and with the use of many different languages, smiling became a way of greeting someone as to avoid the language barrier. Oh, yeah. So obviously, people in other countries <laughs> smile at each other, but it's like if you're on a walk, like I feel like I'm always having to like smile to fucking everybody because I don't want to seem like yeah rude. You yeah, give the, 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 the neighborhood Karen. Or, yeah, or, or, yeah, or the white guy. <laughs> yes, I do that too. Okay, but I don't need I'm to. so the person that will be like, "Good morning," oh, God. <laughs> or I, like see Get... someone walking. But I have like, headphones Hi. in, so yeah. it's hard. Ugh. Good morning. It's Are your neighbors nice? Mm -hmm. Like people on your street? Yeah. 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 They're... Remember, me and Matt were doing that bit where he came out. I was like, "You hit my car. I'm gonna call the cops on you." Oh, and, he's, yeah. and then the guy, there was like an old man who walked by. He thought it was really funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were yeah. like scared. Like, oh no, we made the neighbors <laughs> upset. He was like, he was like, ah, you kids having a good time? We're like, yeah, we're just being goofy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a. I would say there's not many kids on my street specific. It's like a lot of older people, um, like forty plus, mm. but they're all very nice. Teens yeah. live across the street from me. Mm -hmm. And they're nice and courteous. Hi, how are you? Yeah, everyone's Hi. really nice. Like when we moved in, it was like the classic, like a few people came over and introduced themselves, like welcome to the neighborhood. And I was oh, like, hell gotta fucking love yeah, it. bitch. Yeah. I'm in the barbs. Bring in some wine. <laughs> yeah, we did Cookies. get wine. It was great. Cute. Um, okay. that's, what, that's why America is the best place in the world. <laughs> why? Because we are just people from everywhere else. Oh, you're like, like That's why America pot. rules. Yeah. America, America rules. But like, and you're like, <laughs> America. Yeah. I give a full screech. Let's hear a real one. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I heard this on the other day. It's like, hell yes, I am. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so like Chevy commercial. But like, if you're Swedish and you're born in Sweden, like the only way that you're Swedish is if you're like blonde hair, blue eyes. If you're like in Japan, race. what? It's just the Aryan race. Yeah, basically. And if you're like J Japanese, it's like you have to be born in Japan and like speak the language. And But America, you can be American no matter what. You can be American if you're from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I watched Joe Biden's State of the Union last night. I'm feeling real patriotic today. <laughs> Wait, I saw something on TikTok um, where he like tricked everyone. Yeah, he kind of. He that kind was of so iconic. Wait, what did he do? He was kind of killing it. Yeah, because he they, was like, "Oh, all these Republican Republicans want to get rid of Medicare," and they were like, "No, no!" Like they went into an uproar. Yep. And then he was like, "All right, well then, stand up if you will support my Medicare for All bill." And then they <laughs> all stood up, and he was like, "Literally, it was so funny because Kamala was sitting right behind him, and she was just like trying not to like smile so big. She was like." 
smirking, but he's like, all right, well, you guys all heard it here. There shouldn't be a problem with the Medicare bill. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Boys, we got him. Woo! Yeah, because yeah, he yeah. was like, apparently everyone agrees. Yeah, oh, it was really good. You he know, went... Gen Z intern was like, let's do this. He also yeah. went off script for that. Like, no. usually he's oh. like. Who was the other man? Uh, that's there. the new Speaker of the House. Okay. Kevin McCarthy that, that yeah. took yes, like 15 Kevin. votes to get him in, installed. He's like a joke. They well, normally well, he was like upset when he when Joe Biden brought it up. He has no idea what to do because he's like the craziest, <laughs> pe- like the craziest, crazy people on the right, like Marjorie Taylor Greene and oh, Lauren yeah. Boebert. Oh. Like they are the reason why he was able to get voted in. But then he also wants to like not be associated with them. Mm. So last night watching him just like not know what to do, yeah. like when to clap. Well, when would... he said the Republican thing, he was like, no. Yeah. Well, be nice about Marjorie Taylor Green. You know, she's a. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Apparently, she was like rubbing up. She was really mad. What was she, was she, could you see her? Yeah, they, she was they just they like zoomed yelling. in on her a bunch. She Why was like, are they yelling? Her? Because she wants to get the viral clip and then be like, "See, I told Joe Biden to his face. Give me money for my reelection because I'm going to stick it to Joe Biden." That's the only reason. But it was stuff. it was truly iconic. Why is he's it just circus? like this old man sitting there, like fully like forced them yes, to yes. be like we support this publicly L-O-L. and then of course when it like comes down to it it's gonna be like a whole fucking sure. thing and yeah. no one's gonna sign off yeah the republicans only stood up when he talked about the good cops and then bombing russia that was like <laughs> that was it that's all they care about anyway moving on that is we should do a politics funny. episode a little po- a political for the day um any other any oh, other fun facts yeah i have so many oh let's let's rip um, I thought this one was interesting. This one actually gave me the creeps a little bit. It says, when a person receives a kidney transplant, they don't take out the old kidneys. They just shove them to the side and leave them in there. Just yes. dead. Oh, yeah. really? <laughs> now yeah. like, get this out of me. Wait, yes. but isn't it that, wait, but what if like the dead kidney is cancerous? No, well, then they'll take it out if it's like a, a harm to you. Okay. But if it's not, then they just leave it in there and then it basically just shrivels up into a little walnut. Oh. And just lives there. Yeah, I would have a hard time knowing that was just going on. You just on. have like a branch of kidneys. Yeah, like that won't cause anything wrong. No, Crazy. unless it's like a harm to your yeah. body. But most of the time, just they, take yeah, it out. They just leave it in. I wonder why. Maybe it's like more harmful to take it out than it is to just leave it in. I guess. No yeah, idea. I think so because if you take something out, it's like <laughs> I don't know <laughs> kidneys. Kidneys make kidneys and like and thinking about my balls. Like your spleen. They make me like uh. kidneys <laughs> and my balls. Uh, does anyone know what, a, what your spleen does? Did you? What is a spleen? A spleen isn't it like is for it's in. Isn't it for your? Um, I don't know. It's like your. Isn't it for like your adrenal gland? What is that? Um, a gland. It promotes like uh, <laughs> insulin and uh, adrenaline and mm-hmm. like it's part of your endocrine system. Am I wrong? It does the immune system. I don't know, man. Oh, the spleen. You're speaking a different Honestly, language. Honestly, who cares? <laughs> It says the spleen is part of the immune system and removes old and damaged blood particles from your system. Oh, I'm the sorry. The spleen helps the You don't have to be sorry. I was wrong. The spleen helps the body identify and kill bacteria. Um, well, sp- slay. This one I thought was interesting. The Guinness Book of Records was invented by the Guinness Beer folks. Yes. Yes. They figured a book of verifiable facts would help stop bar arguments kind of like the michelin star was invented by the tire company originally to serve as a list of notable places to visit on your travels interesting i thought that was like yeah mainly because i'm like okay yeah same companies but like the thought behind yeah it, yeah, yeah. Really they, were, cool. well, they were like figuring out that people would talk about interesting facts yeah. at the bar and world records at the bar and when they would run out of things to talk about, they would leave. So Guinness was like, well, we want to serve more beer. Mm-hmm. Let's start recording crazy things and just put the book on the bar. Yeah. And now it's the Guinness Book of World Records. So cool. Have you, did you go to the Guinness? The factory? factory? Yes. Yeah. In Ireland. Yeah. It's so great. Fun. I have never put that together. Guinness. Yeah. 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 Never put that together. <laughs> Not once. Michelin? That's- you know the Michelin star I thing? I feel like I thought no. the Michelin one, because I always see like memes where it's like, I can't believe this guy started like yeah. putting the stars on restaurants. And I was like, haha, like the big tire white yeah, guy. Uh-huh. Thought, yeah. And so the I Michelin thought there man. was no affiliation. No, it's literally the Michelin yeah. company. And so, they, they used to do it where they would put the restaurants like really far away from, the, I think it's in France they started. Oh, it's a okay. French company or European somewhere. But they sold tires and they were like, these tires are lasting too long. So they would put the restaurants they would recommend like deep in the woods and like deep in the mountains. So people had to drive more, wear the tires down more, and then buy more tires. Oh, uh, capitalism. Yeah. 
at its finest. But now we get good restaurants out of it. So yeah, like that most people can't afford. Well, yeah, like eight hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been to a Michelin star restaurant? Yeah, I've been to. I've been to so many. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's a Michelin like, star? Like, what's a def, like? What's an example of one? Like Nobu? Like Chipotle? I no. don't. I don't think. No, it's like, like a bit of a chain. It, it, it'll be like a place where. We you... went to like a Korean barbecue place, for example, that's just in um, Koreatown, mm -hmm. and it had a Michelin star. We had no idea. Oh. We just like showed up. But like, like if you go to two or three star Michelin star, it'll be the place where like each bite that you take is a different plate. So they'll give you like your opening bite is like one tiny little piece of fish with one leaf on it. You oh, take that bite. Places. It's like it'll be like 17 courses. That's not always it, though. Not always. But like yeah. if you're at a place like that, that's like the that's vibe. like if you got like all the stars. Yes. Yeah, so like two or three. We star. went to one when we went to New York with Luke. That sounds where we had oh. dinner. Yes. With uh -huh. Lexi uh -huh. and that, that was guy. Of course, that Michelin was Michelin. Star. Yeah. We have okay. really bougie friends in New York who like love like fancy dining. The New York is the and, best like, for that. We, yeah. And they'll always like plan a Michelin trip and we're like, okay. Cause like I'm like a chicken finger and fries. Yeah. Kinda. I was going to yeah. say, you show like, up, you're like, uh, do you have any yeah. ketchup for this? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like this. <laughs> and, and like, uh, yeah. But it's fun, <clears throat> I guess, to see. But then sometimes yeah. you like eat the meal and you're like, really? I'm paying like $200 yeah. for this? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do we get any emails? Uh, yeah. A fun facts? Uh, not a lot. Fun oh, okay. facts. My mom has Unless been cheating on my dad. <laughs> <laughs> this one, Rebel Wilson has a law degree. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, no, I thought, I was like, oh, damn, okay, go off. Natalie Portman went to Harvard. Need that she, yeah, that makes sense. She also like speaks like of... four languages. Yeah. Oh, this one was interesting. Pom-poms were f first put on hats to protect French Marines from bumping their heads during rough seas. Oh, that's kind of cute. During rough seas? Yeah, like if you're yeah, in the, like the, in the boats, bowels like... of the ship. Oh, so the little... Yeah, it's yeah. like a little helmet. Oh, I thought that's so cute. That is pretty cute. Especially because now why. it's just like an aesthetic thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a really good one. It's cute. It's like a little pillow. Yeah. <laughs> just imagining the... People like knitting them on. Yeah. Um. This girl says that she took a law class for fun last semester. And one thing that blew me away is that one in 10 people on death row are innocent. Damn. How do on they know death that though? Row? I don't know. Maybe they've been like. Just like statistically statistic. speaking. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking crazy. Well, I, I, yeah, I think they probably like the people in the past who've been on death row. And then looking at like technology Maybe, like, to afterwards. prove them right, and they've been they like, Oops. find, yeah. There's got to be some way to figure it out, but that's fucking crazy. I have How one... often are people being put to death? Like, is anyone being put to death? No, today? most states, most states have outlawed. I think Texas is still a death penalty state. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> go back and vote, brother. Um, no, I think it's ridiculous that not all the states are killing just people. Just the idea, of like, well, just yeah, like uh, we should. Just... All the states should have the death penalty. Is what you're saying? No, that's your take. No. <laughs> Do you think there's ever a time where someone should be put to it's death? It's me, Matt King. Bring back the death penalty. <laughs> For all you audio listeners out there, this is me, Matt no, King, saying funny. bring I, back. I love Texas, but no, no, I disagree with the death penalty. Um, For, like 100%. Even it's me, Matt it... King. I love Ted Cruz. <laughs> False. <laughs> and Greg Abbott, best man in the world. I can you believe... guys know this? Because I realize a lot of people don't know this who aren't from Texas. Do you do know Greg Abbott is in a wheelchair? Yeah, but who cares? You're still an asshole. <laughs> I did not know that. Well, I know, like, or I was talking to like Patricia's family members, and like, I was like, "Hey, Greg oh, now Abbott's now in a wheelchair." Ableist? No, and then they were like, they go, "They go, what are you talking about?" And I go, "Greg Abbott, he hides it really well. He doesn't like promote wheelchair. it." And they're like, "Huh?" Like yeah. they never knew that. I'm like, "Yes, he's been in a wheelchair since he was like in his 30s." No excuse for being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. I don't right. know. Just a lot of people don't know that, and it shocked me. I have my. Can I share my last fact? Sure. Yes. Um, if you buy a violin and want to paint it red, you have to use a specific type of paint. Because the weight of most red paint will change the sound of <gasps> the violin. And another fun fact about paint, the first two <laughs> space shuttles, their external tanks were painted white and two of them weren't. And the external tanks weighed 600 pounds more just because of the one layer of paint on how big they are. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. I have a fun space fact. Okay. Ooh. 
there was a phantom poop on an Apollo mission. <laughs> a phantom pooper? Poop, a phantom a poop, pooper. A poop was floating around and like none of the people. A turd? On, yes. A and singular turd? None of the people would Best like stuff. own up to it. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to read, they had like the call log with them in like the communication Stop. center and it was so ridiculous. Like it's real. And they're Did like, they ever, there's and a they turd had to like get it out. Did they solve the mystery? No, I don't think so. How just, embarrassing. It was probably someone like, I just can't like, yeah. acknowledge that was <laughs> mine. Like, there's nowhere to go to like, hide your embarrassment. Yeah. Could you imagine though? You're just like in space and then you just see like a piece of shit flying by you. <laughs> Can you That's smell wild. things in space? No, definitely oh, not. Really? No? Definitely not. You're breathing the air through your oxygen tank. How come they make you flavored know, no, moon in the, food? Huh? Oh, I guess maybe. And, like oh, in God. the shuttle, you can probably smell it. Yeah. Oh, it's just a floating poop in the... <laughs> just like bumps Like how does that work? Cheese. What if it was like... Uh, was it a solid turd? I would imagine. Okay. Because if it was, well, I they guess just liquid open up floats a bag too, because they do like the water. Oof, yeah. It's just some di- diarrhea chunk. Diarrhea <laughs> in space <laughs> as water droplets. <laughs> I feel like I'm leaving. I'm gonna jump out of this shuttle right oh, now. God. Very funny. Um, I have another one. Candy corn was originally called chicken feed. Ew. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, I love candy corn. Because like, I feel like kernels they would feed yeah. to chickens. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I think we talked about this on Halloween, but I'm asking again. Are the three different colors of candy corn different no, flavors? No, they taste all the same. All the same. I am convinced that they are different flavors. <laughs> okay, we'll do a taste test. Yeah, blindfolded. And you'll, and you'll cho- be like, what What artificial color is this? <laughs> There's chocolate flavored candy corn. No, I'm yeah. saying like that the yellow, the red, different. and the orange yeah. it's are not different. Red. I used to only eat the orange and the white, and I was like, I don't like the yellow when I was a kid. I'm convinced. You little liar. I don't, we should do a, a test. You guys are sure that this is the, the case? We will chop them up into three blocks, yeah. mush them around, and make them into little cubes of just the orange, just the yellow, just the white. Like, are you just assuming because you just eat the whole thing in one bite? Like, I thought that's kind of the point of candy corn. No, it's, it's, we can Google this. It's, three, right flavors, yeah. it's yeah. three flavors in one. No, I, I, I don't think. Okay. I'm happy to look. No, no, no. Well, let's keep the train going. I think it's candy corn. Oh, she, she needs to look it up. Okay. I have to. I, I don't want to. I don't want to derail the uh, momentum here. Uh, candy corn. No, no. It's just it says these are all the flavors in the candy corn, and then they're combined, and that's what they taste like: marshmallow, warm vanilla, yeah, exactly, and creamy fondant. See, they're different layers. No, yeah. it's it's like they're, they're mixed layers. together like a candle. No, no. Okay, it's, I think it's candy corn three different flavors. That's what I'm gonna Google. Is that okay? Yeah. Ask ChatGPT. You already asks. have my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Are all the parts? This is riveting mm-hmm. stuff. I actually have a good one. Yellow at the bottom. I'm like yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> no, it's the same. It's just like you can get like a chocolate one or. They have like different flavors of candy corn, but all the colors, I believe, are all of the same flavor. Okay. Okay, I have a fun fact. Yeah. Uh, we're, I'm listening. Okay. The top two. Let me get the wording right. <laughs> I was about to do it. Okay. The top two buyer of explosives. The first one is the US. Who do you think the second is? Purchaser of explosives? Mm-hmm. Like gunpowder? Explosives. Is it? I t- feel like it's gonna be a trick. North Korea? <laughs> no. Like, like I feel like firework it... people. Possibly. Like, like amusement. Oh. Uh, something. I think it's more something out of a spectacle. Japan, China. No. No, I feel like it's gonna be like Sweden Indo- or something no. we don't expect. Indonesia. It's Disneyland. Oh. Whoa. For fireworks. For like one night, yeah. But... Yeah, I feel like that was a trick because you said the United States. No, like the, the first government. one. Number one is the U.S. This army. The U.S. government the is gov- buying yeah. ammunitions and blow- blowing blowing up I'm sorry stuff. if it came off as a trick. Got I wasn't trying it. to trick you. Got- no. <laughs> it, it is wild. Like the people who live next to Disneyland, they hear this they that just... pop 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 every pop, night. Pop, pop every night. I know. I could never. I thought that was crazy. I was like, damn, they're the I second biggest I feel like they're probably buyer. just like so used to it. It's like when I hear airplanes go over my house, I'm just like, oh. There goes another one. Mm -hmm. You just get desensitized. Yeah, I guess so. And Mm -hmm. I bet people are like joyous. They're like, Disneyland. To live next to Disneyland, I feel like you have to like it. So number two is Disney, not land specifically, but Disney. Disney So probably world. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I have a fun fact with proof. all of them. Um, I met Lady Gaga once. And and here's what I did the other night. (laughs) I went to my Facebook and scrolled deep on my Facebook because I remember I posted the photos. (laughs) Those are the photos oh. of me and Gaga. 
Gaga. I think I've, I've seen these. And then I'm going to show you. I left a comment on my photo, and there's. My, you're so cute. Guzzing it up with Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually what he captioned it. Yeah. And then the comment below, I, I remember now saying, like, I didn't want to type the whole thing out about she sang for me. So I said, we talked for 20 minutes and she was cool. Okay. And there's, and I remember calling the, my friend Brendan. What? Apologize. My, young apologize to him. <laughs> you with the headband and the my terrible God. glasses. Oh, no, you're so cute. Oh, God. And I met Nardwar that same year and Elijah Wood. Whoa. Wow. There's scroll. You'll see the photos. T. You guys know Nardwar? No, no, but I know he's like that. He's like that interview guy. Nard, that's like, Nardwar. I feel like we've talked about this. Oh, OK. Like a Tyler, the creator <laughs> from Vancouver. <laughs> now, tell me. Did you really? OK. <laughs> do 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 do. I did that with him. Where's Elijah Wood uh, in the group photo? Oh, wow. He asked. He was like, he's like, what's up with all the headbands, guys? And I was like, do you want to join the headband squad? He's like, yeah, how do the I join? And so he gave him the headband. And then he's like, can we take a group photo? We said, yeah, sure. Damn. OK, that's my fun fact. That's with pretty proof. cool. With proof. Love that. Matt, that's pretty cool. What? Should I not Still be not saying true. it? <laughs> pretty cool. OK, any, any more? Um, this one just of my own narcissism. Every odd number has the letter E in it. <laughs> Every odd number. Has the letter. One, three, <laughs> five, do it, we do it the whole way. seven, nine. I believe her. 11, I believe her. 13, yeah, yeah, buddy. 15, What's, like the, what's the cutoff 17, number? 19, Where are the end 20, number? 20, 22, 20. 23, 25, <laughs> no, 27. What about, oh, never mind. What yeah, is what the is, biggest number ever to uh, exist? Google. Okay, hold on, hold on. Google? Two million. It's called Google? No, because it, no, because one through nine it's always going to end on one of those. An odd number is always going to end on one, three, five, seven, or nine. And all those have an yes, E in it. Guess, so it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah, we realize this. But let me go back. 31, <laughs> 33. Mike, is it, wait, how big wait is a it? minute. That's wrong. 33 is an odd number and doesn't have an E in it. E. e. What? Three. Three. T H R E E. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what about. Uh, wait, isn't the biggest like number like a Google? How big is a Google? Biggest a Google number. Plex. A Google Plex. What the fuck? I've never heard of that. It's a phone. A and... Google. Oh, it's <laughs> also a search engine. It says the biggest number in the world. It's written as 10 and then like the. The infinity sign. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's writing that number now? No, it's Just not. Like... <laughs> it's like when you do like, um, it's like 10 to the second to the power. power yeah. It's like 10, but then it spells out G O O G O L. Yeah, that's why, what the, the fuck? that's why the company is called Google's because they wanted to be like have the most search results. Infinity amount of results. That is very, in that's a fun fact. Yeah, I did not know that. Infinity is a crazy concept though because you can think about, okay, that number is a number, right? Googleplex. But you can also just multiply that number by Googleplex. And yeah. what's that? Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep. <laughs> and then it's, Elon Musk it's, can't it's, name. <laughs> it becomes the... Oh, man. That was really good. <laughs> beep, boop, bop, bop. Did you know? Well, this is a fun fact, I guess. It, the HQ game, they're coming out like a documentary. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that girl who was on it was like, they didn't fucking ask me to be yeah, in there. Sarah Pribis and uh, Scott Rogowski. God, he owns Scott. a thrift shop in Santa Monica now. Oh, Should we da -da, go after this? Da -da, da -da, da. What yeah. is that? Thrift shop by Macklemore. <laughs> Shazam <laughs> it. Bam, 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 bam. Do it. Get your Shazam app open. Okay, yeah. I'm see sure if it's it get that. Yeah, see if it'll know. Did you guys play HQ when it came out? Yes. Yeah. I was obsessed was so with it. Fun. Remember Nick Gallo was like involved yes. in it? Yes. There was like host? a bunch of like Vine people. Yeah, Vine yeah. people created it, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So we were all, it was all. Sam did a video with him like at the peak Scott? of it. Scott? My brother. Scott Rogowski, yeah. yes. He made like a, like a what is HQ and got to interview him. Oh. And like, it was like the only. Do you video. imagine that man? Like, j didn't they just like pull him off the street? Yeah. Well, no, I think he like worked in the office and they were like, uh, you want to try hosting this show? And damn. then he blew up and then. Wow. I think he left to go be like a sports announcer for baseball and then they hired the girl. And then. Let's go to the, let's go to his, his vintage store. store. Okay. You think he's there? What's it called? Uh, It's called, like, I think it's called uh, Quiz Daddy's Thrift Shop. Oh, actually, come yeah. on. give me a quiz fucking daddy. Break. That was his thing. He was like, he always had. I'm a... not going just because of the name. It's yeah. Quiz Daddy. Wait, I can't go after this. That's okay. You can Uber home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close. It always at noon. He he's really cool. Really nice guy. Is he? Quiz yeah, daddy. we hung out with him at South by Southwest. Wait, it's like all like sports stuff. 
Yeah, it's like, oh, it might be vintage sports memorabilia. Quiz Daddy's Closet. Quality vintage gear. Oh, he looks like it's so funny that like we always like saw him in like a suit and he's just this like Yeah, cool, he's like a like, schlubby guy. Yeah. <laughs> Quiz Quiz Khalifa, that was one of his names. Stop. Well, that'd be a fun little trip someday. Did you guys ever win any money on it? No, no. I don't think so. And if you did win, it wasn't just like a nickel. <laughs> no, it, it it based on how many other people won, they would split the prize. So every day it was ten thousand dollars. If one person won, you win ten thousand, but if a thousand people win, you got a thousand bucks. It was pretty good. It was such a fun yeah. era of And you can see like how many left. You can't really cheat because it's like the question comes up, you have three seconds to answer. So unless you can Google it really oh. quickly, they but they would yeah. make the questions in a way that you couldn't answer them. Like Google it that quickly. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. you couldn't Google them that quickly the way that they would phrase them. They have so many It's Patriots like na- name shirts? three presidents that had vice presidents whose middle name it was, was always live. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why didn't they just pre record it and just make people tune in if that's why it was crashing all the time? Because they would also like he would like respond to people in the chat and give birthday shout outs and like oh, yeah, yeah it was like yeah. a whole thing I feel like it made it what it was because it was live yeah and he would talk about like the news of the day and like the fact yeah. that it was live is why it was cool is he from Massachusetts I think so okay every single vintage shirt in here is uh Tom Brady <laughs> oh. oh my god eighty for Brady that movie all right we uh. Go get some lunch. Wrap it up. Yes, please. Let's wrap it up. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry. Fun fact: We're all really hungry, so we're gonna go and eat now. It's truly an unbelievable fact. That's a crazy fact. Go ahead. I was gonna say, I was trying to think of a word. Uh, un unfathomable information. Mm-hmm. We hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, follow us everywhere. Thank and- you guys so much for sending us fun facts and. Follow us on Instagram because we put all the like prompts of the episodes that we are recording over there. And that's how we get all your emails. Uh, yes, ma'am. Matt. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> he said, we have an Instagram. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I just love doing that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just Silly, 90s. Goofy guy. Yeah, like 90s. Just 90s. Like, like PSA. Like, <laughs> oh, don't do drugs. And the other person's like. You did that in our Grammy video last night. You were like. <laughs> what I so what do we all think? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, God damn it, Matt. <laughs> I so, think we could all agree just yeah. keep the discussion going. And like, you always do it all on purpose. It's very like camp counselor vibes. Yes, yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you next week, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.